I wouldn't take that airplane. I heard whenever you take it, it's always a close shave. <laughs> I'm about to board the plane now. We're um, kind of hold up. I don't know what's going on, but um, on my way to Pisa, gonna check out the tower and all the stuff in the area, and uh, then uh, shortly after go to Florence and meet up with some high school friends. So the front, like, five rows of the plane had no one in the seats. So they asked everyone to move up, and now I've got knee room. Uh, kind of, hold on. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> the chair is right here on my knees, but I got all this knee room, so I'm happy. Really early morning, so I think I might try to catch some Z's while I'm on the plane before I get to Pisa, especially since I slept on the couch that so was probably only four feet long. So um, I didn't get much sleep. So I'll catch you all when I'm in Pisa. landed in Pisa. I'm gonna exit the airport and go into a small little town and uh, then I'm going to go over to Florence and meet up with my friends. So, yep, that's what's on the agenda for today. There's a Lego vending machine. I didn't even know that existed. We are officially in Pisa. Oh, thank goodness. Um, it's actually sunny here. Uh, doesn't look like right now, but um, that's just, I'm in shade. The sun's right there. Um, so I'm walking to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, because when you're in Pisa, you gotta see that, obviously. Um, and uh, it's about 24 minute walk away. So, not bad at all. So I'm gonna go there, do that. It says the tower opens up at nine o'clock, which is in 10 minutes. So by the time I get there, it'll be open. It's perfect. So um, yeah, we'll go from there. This town is so just ah, nice to look at. The all the buildings, you can tell this place is an old 
old city. It's wicked nice. I'm enjoying every second of it. I have finally made it. <laughs> really cool, and it's really leaning. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished up at the tower, and so now I'm probably gonna head over to Florence, meet up with my friends after they get out of class, and uh, go from there. I might get some food sometime soon here as well. I mean, I just I just ate, obviously, that uh, pierogi, but um, I gotta try some Italian food too, you know? Okay, I am finally in Florence. Uh, I am gonna stop at this McDonald's real quick to get Wi-Fi because I've always got free Wi-Fi. We're gonna try and figure out where all I'm going and um, then hopefully later I can meet up with some of my friends. Okay, so I'm on my way to the hospital now. I'm saying that. And I'm gonna take a shower because I'm pretty gross from um, not being able to get one because I slept in the airport last night. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go around the city afterwards and I just found out while I was looking at different things you could do here in Florence. The statue of David by Michelangelo is here. <laughs> Who knew? So I'm gonna 
go see that tomorrow when it opens. It's not open today. And um, check that out. Oh, that's so cool. So this is my hostel. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. It's got its own little like courtyard sort of thing too. That's so cool. Wow. So I just checked in. I'm going to take a shower because I'm pretty gross right now. My hair is very greasy as you can see. Um, I'm gonna drop all my luggage off so that I don't have to carry this around. My shawls are starting to hurt a little bit, so. And um, then we'll go into the city and look around. So I've just left my hostel, took a shower. I actually smell pretty okay right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go around the city while there's still daylight. I think I got about, probably about an hour and a half left. So I'm gonna try and do everything that I can while the sun's still out so it's still decently warm when I'm not in the shade. And um, I'll see what I can see. I can't believe just how stunning everything here is. Everything's just so nice to look at. And right now I'm walking in onto the uh, big church here, or it's like, I don't know what it is, here in, up there. And so we're gonna see that real quick. That has to be the most incredible church, basilica, cathedral, whatever I've ever seen. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's massive, first off. And it's just so detailed. It's, it's still going. Oh my goodness.
Okay, so I just got a postcard from my mom because she likes postcards from all the places I go and a little t-shirt as well um, for the city and um, maybe later I'll be able to show you but right now my, hand, my hands are full. <laughs> so um, now we're going to, I forget what it's called but it's another like dome-like structure um, so I'm going there right now. Okay, I definitely went the wrong way because this is not the dome-like building <laughs> I was looking for this area. But um, it's got to be around here somewhere. I, I saw it in the distance. I, I must have just taken a wrong turn or something. Okay, I just looked on a map. <laughs> Turns out I went the exact opposite way of where I was supposed to go. So... Um, I'll just probably hit that tomorrow since I'm already the whole other direction. Um, right now I'm going towards some towers. Um, I saw them just behind these buildings. I can't see them anymore so I can't turn our camera around but um, I want to see what those are. Everything here is so cool. Okay, so you can see that. That is kind of far away. I'm going to go to it because why not? So I'm a bit disappointed because I walked maybe 20 minutes or so just to go see what that is and I can't find a way to get to it. I've gone around the entire blocks around it, can't find a way in. It's like, how, how do other people even get in there? So that's kind of disappointing, but I'm going to head back now because my friends should be out of their classes that they're taking here. So um, I'm gonna go try and meet up with them right now. Okay, so I found the entrance to it. Just extremely get it off. So there's no way of me even getting in there anyways. So that was kind of a waste of a walk. But that's all right, I'm on my way back now, so. Okay, so I'm meeting up with my friends at the train station at McDonald's. So that's the only place I got Wi-Fi to text anyone, hey, I'm here. So um, that's where we're going to go, and I'm thinking maybe we'll get something to eat. Maybe they can show me around some uh, Italian pizza or pasta, you know? So... Uh, yeah, that's our, that's our plan. Actually, it's not our plan. They, they don't know what we're doing. We're kind of just meeting up, but I'm gonna tell them we're gonna eat food because I'm hungry. I'm walking around all day.
So I just got done with my friends. We got gelato and uh, just walked around, talked together, uh, caught up. And uh, now I'm going back to my hostel and I'm gonna charge my phone because it's only at 4% right now. Um, and um, then once that's charged, I'm gonna go out into the city again. It's about seven o'clock right now. And I'm gonna go get some Italiano food. So, uh, looking forward to that. I love Italian food. Okay, so I've just gone up about 30 minutes ago. It's uh, 12.30 right now. And uh, I accidentally fell asleep last night at 7.30. Well, I want to take a nap, so I did it intentionally, but I want to wake up at 8. Well, five hours later, it's 2.30 in the morning. So I completely missed out on eating last night, which I wanted to do. So um, today, my plans are go get breakfast or lunch now. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and go see um, Michelangelo's David statue. Um, my friends are telling me I should go try some Gusta pizza, is what the place is called. So I'm going to do that. And apparently there's always a line that's wicked long to get into the restaurant. So I guess it's like real good pizza. And um, besides that, I don't really know what else I'm going to do today. Because today was kind of a lay low day, obviously, because it's 12.30. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to sleep in as much as I could because I didn't get much sleep in the airport the day before. Um, I also didn't get a lot of sleep on the plane. So, today was kind of my catch-up day for sleep. So, yeah, but now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna buy a ticket to go see the statue and uh, then I'm gonna go out into the city. Okay, so I'm at Gusta Pizza and I got their item on the menu that is called Gusta Pizza because if it's the name of the restaurant, it's probably the best one. Uh, it's got tomato, mozzarella, uh, cherry tomatoes, arugula, flaked parmesan, and olive oil. It sounds pretty good. Um, I I'm excited. It sounds like it's... My friends were telling me this is one of the actual Italian restaurants in the area rather than the tourist Italian restaurants, which aren't so um, real, I want to say. So, I'm excited. Just got my pizza. Looks very, very good. I'm really digging. <laughs> okay, so I just got done eating. Pretty good pizza. Uh, not my favorite, but it was still, it was still good. Um, I'm now on my way to some palace looking thing. It's just around the corner, so I'm gonna go check out what that is. might be one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. I, I know I've said it a lot how it's awesome this place is, but I really mean it. This place is awesome. I'm not a candy guy, but this one looks so good. <laughs> Let's get some.
Okay, I just sat down for a little bit, called my family, because my joints were telling me to calm down <laughs> from all this walking. So um, now I'm back on my way to go to the statue, but I really need water, so I'm trying to find water. There's a few shops up here, so hopefully some of them have some refreshments. Uh, I'll probably get like a, an energy drink and a, um, and a water. So um, yeah, that's what I'm off to right now. I am in the museum that holds the statue of David. And um, right now I'm just looking at all the paintings on all the walls before I go to the statue. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's a lot to see here and I'll make sure to record a lot of it. Finally here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little bit more than cool. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, the statue. Um. <laughs>
Okay, so that was pretty imp incredible. Statue was way bigger than I thought it was. And um, a lot of really nice paintings too. It was really nice. Maybe I'll come here again sometime. <laughs> that was cool. Right now I'm going down a little market alleyway in Florence. Really cool. We've got a lot of leather um, items here, like purses, jackets, um, belts right here. A lot of different stuff. And it's way, way, way cheaper here than it is in the US. You can get a lot of the stuff here cheaper because they don't have the sort of regulations that we have. So if you ever want leather stuff, come here to, I think it's mostly Italy where leather's really cheap. So come to Italy if you want <laughs> cheap, cheap leather. <laughs> okay, so it's dark now. Currently on my way to uh, SDA school here in Florence to go see my friends out there because they weren't able to come into town, so I'm going to them. So um, that's what I'm doing now, and I'll probably be back to. Well, I'll still pretty late tonight, but that's okay. I'm gonna pick up some chocolate for my best friend <laughs> back in the states, and um, I don't know. Go from there. Okay, so. I just got done with my friends. I'm going back to the main part of the city now. Uh, it's about eight o'clock at the moment. And uh, I kind of want to do something, but I might not. I've got to wake up early in the morning to fly to London. So, my, you know, I might as well just go back now. But um, I just had some food with them and we got to talk for a little bit. They showed me around the campus that they're staying at. And um, uh, yeah. Uh, it was a good time seeing them, but now it's time for me to sell down, wind down the night. Ending the night with another banana milkshake from McDonald's. All these things are so good. I can't believe how good they are. Um, <laughs> and now I'm heading back to my hostel. I'm gonna try and grab a water from some sort of convenience store around here. Because last night I woke up so thirsty. But um, after that, then I'll be going straight to the hostel. Okay, so I'm in bed now. Um, it's about midnight. I just got done doing a bunch of stuff. And uh, so tomorrow, off to London. And I'm off to bed. I gotta wake up around 6.30 so that I can be to the airport uh, by about 8.30. Um, so I can pack up and, and take a shower and... <clears throat> I can get my train ride to the airport. Um, I'm excited. Tomorrow's, like I said, it's London, and hopefully it'll be a good day. Hopefully not too cold. This whole trip's been a little cold, but today was pretty nice. But uh, for now, I'm signing off, and I'll see you guys all in London. See ya.